So, um, lynchings in 2020 are back. Yeah, that's what's scary. Yep. So, in less than one month, six black people have been found hanging from trees. So, this has happened in California, Georgia, New York, Oregon, and Texas. New now, York surprises me. Yeah, that's the one that surprised me too. I'm like, all right, all these Oregon. other states, I'm like, yeah, California Georgia. though. Oh boy. Huh? Yeah, Georgia is the good old boys network. California, yeah, that was a little. Because like, oh. California is one of the more liberal states. I would, yeah. I was under the aware because it's like one of the last um, territories to be formed as a state. You know, they had to make their way out west, and so by the time they got out there, the rules are different, and everybody. So I'm like, what the what the hell? But they're trying to cover this up as, as saying that these, yeah, suicides like. It was all six black men just happened to rest by one by one. Just oh, I'm just gone. Uh, hey, by a tree, right? Y'all know serious about race relations. Just call it what it is. Do investigate that shit. Yeah, it, because you're you're not going to tell me that if if a black person decides to commit suicide because studies have shown like we black people don't commit suicide as much as white people, but mm -hmm. it does happen. You know, yeah. I'm not I'm not saying that it doesn't happen, but we're not going to kill ourselves in the fashion of what y'all used to do to make y'all made like public events out of it. Yeah, a, a picnic. So, you know what I'm saying? They call it a picnic. So yeah, pick a nigga. They put a paper and put a flyer out there after church. Yeah, after church on Sunday. That's crazy, oh. too. So you go praise the Lord and all of that yeah. stuff. And then you come out here and commit. A public murder. Yeah, public perjury. Yeah, basically. And fucking, I seen some video, uh, it's a picture in, I think, I don't know, it was Connecticut where somebody took a bunch of these uh, black people who've been killed by cops. They put them on pictures and they hung them by trees and they got them by like ropes and they got pictures of like T.I. Breonna Taylor, Eric Gardner, Mike Brown, George Floyd. They got all of their pictures hanging from these nooses. Mm. On these uh, and they had to take it down and shit. So I was like, they're, they're starting to fight back now. Like, the good old boys, you know what I mean? Trump's yeah. starting, they starting to feel like, okay, now we got to stand up against this. this they, they're losing. They feel like they're losing the good old America. Yeah, that's what they feel like. And I mean, people are, people are on edge right now, and they we don't really trust the police, never have. But now more than ever, people of color aren't trusting the police. And so the family of the deceased... Um, the protesters and activists um, disagree because they're like, yo, it's how ironic that these things are happening in the time of nationwide racial upheaval. Mm -hmm. Like all of this, you know, black renaissance uh, revolution, whatever you want to call it is going on. And now all of a sudden you guys are lynching people again and then claiming that it's suicide. 1935 shit. I'm like, this is crazy. I'm like, yeah, we we in some dark times, man. Mm -hmm. now, I know what you're gonna sweat segue into. You know it. <laughs>